All right, this is a short tutorial on how to navigate Blackboard for your first class. So you're gonna to wanna to open up a web browser. I'd recommend using Google Chrome. So that is one of our supported browsers for Blackboard and just tends to work the best with our videos and lecture content. So you're gonna open up a new tab on your web browser and type in Blackboard, B-L-A-C-K-B-O-A-R-D dot C-C-U dot E-D-U. And then when you get to this page, it's going to ask for you to log in. And probably the first time that you'll do this, you'll have to log in using your uh, student ID number and then your password. And it may have you do some security questions as well. But this is the page that you'll be greeted with. So this is the Blackboard dashboard page. So there's lots of helpful information here. You have a list of supported browsers up here at the top. There is a Blackboard support number here on the right-hand side. Um, there's also a place to download Microsoft Office. So if you don't currently have a paid version of uh, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, all those things, you can actually access that here for free um, by clicking on this link and then signing up using your student email address. But we're gonna go ahead and look at our first class. So we're gonna wanna look in the middle of the page under the My Courses box. So most likely you're gonna have some, uh, some classes here. You're, you'll probably have the new student orientation and you'll also have your first class. So mine's gonna be called something a bit different. Mine has demo in the line, but yours is gonna say most likely INT 211A, or you might have another class that's first, but most likely it's gonna be this one here. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this. All right, so this is the dashboard for your first class. Now I always recommend on pages like this, go ahead and bookmark that. So if you're in Google Chrome, you can click on this star icon, click on add bookmark, and then you can either create a new folder or you can use um, a folder uh, bookmark, something like that. So you can save that and access this page more quickly. But this is gonna be where you'll be living for the next five weeks. So uh, the first page it's gonna take us to here is the dashboard. So some helpful information here on the policies for the class. There's some technology quick guide videos and articles you can read that'll help you navigate things a bit better. But I'd also recommend completing the new student orientation if you haven't done that yet, because that's going to give you a very good introduction to the school and this online platform. But what we'll do in the re uh, remaining minutes is just walk through some of these pages on the left hand side. So if you're on a desktop computer on Google Chrome, you should see this navigation panel right here. So first thing we'll do is click on syllabus. And the syllabus is going to be a kind of a one-stop shop for everything regarding your, uh, your class. So your syllabus, you'll see that here. I'm sorry, uh, in the syllabus, I should say, you're gonna be able to see what content's gonna be covered in the class, um, what every week is going to cover uh, in that course, and um, some different policy documents. So you can click on the syllabus link, come here to this second bullet point. It's gonna open up a new tab, and here you're gonna type in INT-211A. And we'll click on search. It's gonna pull up a list, we're gonna click on this. And then you'll see a preview for the syllabus on this tab right here. All right, if you wanna download that, you can click this link over here, but for our purposes, we'll close out of that for now and come back here. So that's the syllabus. Uh, dashboard is where we were at the beginning. So this is exactly where we started. Due dates and grades is pretty self-explanatory. You're gonna have all your due dates and grades <laughs> on this page. Um, so every assignment and uh, all of your due dates for every week of the class is actually gonna be living within these links here. So session one, two, three, four, five, every one of these corresponds with one full week of your class. So uh, when your grades are received though, you'll receive an email to your student email account, but you'll also be able to see what grade you received for every individual assignment right here and you can see your total grade at the very bottom. Faculty contact information, when you go to click on this, um, unlike my page, you should have some information here about your professor, who they are, um, their office hours, so when you can contact them, an email address, and some other information just to introduce you to that professor. So I always tell students your professor is your first point of contact for any questions you have about your class. So if you have questions about due dates or assignment instructions, or if you're having technical issues, or if something comes up in your life and you have to uh, request an extension maybe on an assignment, always start by contacting your professor. So you can find their information here, find out how to contact them here. Student lounge will skip, that's not extremely relevant for now. APA requirements though is. So every school has different writing styles that they use for their papers. You might have heard of MLA before, Turabian, or APA. So APA is what we use. So that determines what font size your paper will use, um, what spacing you'll have, what your title page will look like, what your bibliography page will look like. So every school does things a bit differently, but we've actually made it, it relatively easy for you. So you can click on this link right here. This is awesome. So download the APA template Word 
And I'll just open this up to show you what this will look like. So this is awesome because this is going to um, show you exactly how to format your paper. So we can click on enable editing. And again, if you do not have Microsoft Word on your computer already, don't forget that link at the beginning of this video where you can sign up for that. But as you can see here, it already has all of the formatting taken care of for you. So you can just open this up and I would always recommend um, starting by making a copy. So to do that, you'll come up to file and then save as, and then you can make a new file. So you can come to desktop or you can save that file wherever you want and just name it something like first paper. And that way your template will stay the same. So all of this will still be here and you can start every paper by opening up this template and then clicking on file, save as to make a copy. And then when you're ready to write your paper, you can come in here and replace this with your title. Of course, replace this with your name, course number, uh, title of the paper. So all you have to do is just come in here, come into your template, make that copy, and then replace all of the content that's here with your content. So that way you're not having to worry about formatting, you're just worrying about writing your paper. All right, there are other helpful things here as well. There's some APA resources. You're gonna be doing some reading and some assignments on this in your first week. The most important thing is really just to download that template. Clifton Fowler Library, we'll take a look at that real quick. This is kind of your research hub for your time as a student. So later on in your classes, you'll be doing research papers. And uh, this is a great link that you can come to to look for books and articles. You can connect with a virtual librarian and have some help with your research. So you'll learn a bit more about that as you get on in your classes. Welcome, we'll skip that, but we're gonna click next on session one. So again, every one of these links, one, two, three, four, five, represents one full week of your class. So your first week of class is gonna be in session one. You'll see here there's a video you can watch. I'd recommend it. This is helpful to walk you through kind of what we're doing, so how you can navigate the class. And then here we go. This is really where we get into the class. So session one content. We're gonna go ahead and click on this. And I always recommend that students start every single week of their class, so every session, by opening up this content link, because this is gonna walk you through everything. So you can see here, uh, just you take it step by step. It'll take you through some reading materials. There's gonna be some lectures and some videos that you'll watch. And you can really just kind of follow this as you go step by step. But the session one content link is also going to have instructions for your assignments for the week. So if we come here to getting to know you, this is gonna be your first assignment. This is what's due by Wednesday, by midnight mountain time of your first class week. So getting to know you is a discussion board. So every week in your classes at CCU, you're gonna have a discussion board post where you'll type something based on the prompt that we provide, and that'll be due by Wednesday at midnight. And then you're gonna to respond to two students' posts by Sunday at midnight of that week. Now, all the instructions are gonna be here. There's also some helpful videos that you can watch to see exactly how to write your assignments or your post and how to submit those posts. So all of this information, again, is gonna be living in this right here, session one content. So I'm gonna sound like a broken record. Make sure you work through this first because it'll have all of your instructions. So that's your first assignment is to submit your discussion board posts by Wednesday at midnight mountain time. Now, there's also a small paper that you'll write so make sure, again, that you work through this session one content page to look at what the paper is going to cover, how to write the paper, and also don't forget that template. So that APA template, start by making a copy and typing your first paper here. And then session one resource hunt, this is going to be due by Sunday at midnight mountain time. And I should say this writing assessment, this paper, is also going to be due by Sunday midnight mountain time at the end of your first week of class. But the resource hunt is a quiz. So every week at CCU, you're gonna most likely have a discussion board, you're gonna have a small paper, and you're gonna have a quiz. So this session one content link is going to give you the instructions for all of that. So um, when you are ready though to submit those assignments, you'll come back to here. So we'll, we'll click out of this tab, come back to here. So we're back on our Blackboard class page under session one, and we'll click here, so getting to know you. So this is where we'll go ahead and submit that post. Now you can see here, this is just a demo test. Uh, so there are some people that have made threads. So when you're ready to respond to a fellow student, you can come in here and you can um, look at what they say and then you'll click on reply. You'll type in your reply, click submit. You're gonna be doing that twice um, by Sunday, but we're uh, more concerned right now about getting your first post created. So you'll click on create thread. 
you're going to come in here. You can type in your subject line. So you can just put in your name if you want to. Um, if I can even spell. <laughs> there we go. And then uh, based on that session one content link that we were working through, just remember to look here first because you're going to have your instructions on what to write about. So we can see here what we need to write. So our name, our city, our state where we live, what we do, what we want to do with this program. So we, so we, now we know what we're going to write. So we're going to come back in here and we're going to type in our content. Now, if you'd like kind of a pro tip, I would recommend actually writing your post in a separate program like Microsoft Word, because what can happen is if you start typing your paper or your discussion post on the website, if, if you lose internet connection or you have to refresh your page, all of this here will go away and you'll lose all that work. So it's always better to start by using a separate word um, or a note taking application, type everything out and then you can highlight it and you can just copy and paste. So copy and then come here again. And let's see here, there we go, paste. Oh, sometimes that doesn't work. <laughs> so if that happens, if you get an error like this, you can just come back in here Again, we're gonna copy. So you can actually hold down the control button and press C for copy. Come back here and hold down control again and press V for paste. And this, you can skip this. You can do remove, remove formatting, keep formatting. I'm just gonna put keep formatting. And so here we go. And then when you're ready to do that, you can click submit and there we go. So that has been posted. So again, that is, that is your first week of class. So we can go back to session one and just remember, so you have your first discussion post due by Wednesday at midnight mountain time. You have your two replies due by Sunday, midnight mountain time. You have your first session one paper due by Sunday at midnight mountain time. And you have your first quiz also due by Sunday at midnight mountain time. The good news is you're going to have the same exact format in every one of these sessions. So the first week is always a little bit difficult because you're getting to know a new system, but I promise the more that you do this, the easier it gets. The format stays the same in every single week, in every single class. All right, I did just want to show you one last thing. So we just finished looking at our class, but I want to show you a couple of resources that you have access to as a student. So if you come over here on student resources, again, you may have different options up here, but you should have this one. This is going to take you to a page called Connect. And there are tons of helpful resources here for students. Now, the first thing I'll show you here is a link to schedule an appointment with your SSA or your student success advisor. So starting in your second full week of class, you'll begin working with your advisor. And they're going to be the one to help you with uh, anything else that you need throughout the duration of your program. Now, they work with a lot of students, so it really is up to you as a student to reach out to them if you need some help or assistance with anything. So you can click on this link here, and it'll take you to a page where you can schedule a 30-minute block with them to discuss anything that you need. So definitely take advantage of this if you need any assistance throughout your program. Just as a reminder though, if you have questions about your class specifically, always reach out to your professor first by going back to that faculty contact info page. Um, but if you have questions about your degree program or financial aid or future class registration, your SSA is going to be your go-to person. Beneath that, there's other resources here. This writing guide is helpful. It's going to give you more videos on how to write in the APA format. But there's also a partner program that we have called BrainFuse. And you're able to submit two papers a month for free. And there is a team of writing assistants who will review your paper and send you feedback uh, very quickly. So before you submit your paper and get your final grade, you have a chance to submit it to BrainFuse and get some feedback ahead of time to help sharpen your writing. So take advantage of that. You can do that twice per month for free. A uh, link to the library here. There's some videos on tips for success as a student. We have information on um, finding careers, uh, thinking through what you can do with your degree once you're finished, other accommodations, places for sharing prayer requests. Um, you can also request a student ID card, which is pretty cool. So we will mail you a physical ID card. I think it just helps uh, make your studies feel more real. Even though you're taking online classes, you are part of a heritage and a university um, that's been around since 1914. So we want you to feel that as a legitimate student of our school. So you can get an ID card. You can also get some discounts at stores by being a student. So definitely take advantage of that. Uh, other links are here as well, more walkthrough videos information on our bookstore, 
on our student handbook, syllabi. If you have issues that you need to submit a work order for, you can do that. Uh, there's a link to your student email. There's also some Facebook pages. So please take advantage of all of these resources that you have here as a student. And again, you just get to there by clicking on student resources up here. But I hope this video has been helpful to you. Know that we here at CCU are supporting you and praying for you as you begin your first week of class. We're so excited to see what God is going to do through it.